What? Oh, nearly broke mine. Got all excited. I'm like, I'm like Keeping cash aside for the team association from MTK Global. We're in a hole here. Well, well, how many seconds was that? 31. Now, first thing I want to say is obviously I'm not going to get carried away because he wasn't great. But the thing is, he's not great, but he's, he's, uh, he's extremely tough. He's, never really been, he's not really been stopped. He's only stopped three times out of 50 odd fights. And um, what I'm happy about is I did the job properly and professionally. That's what I'm happy about. So, um, I we were saying earlier we, could, we might come back to a 57 57 each draw. But um, I don't know, everything just. Everything just I told you, I told you what, I've been telling you for three and a half years now, one day it's going to click and then... Um, I'm getting carried away. I'm getting out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey. I watched your interview earlier, it's like, oh, if I don't win tonight, this is the end of the road for me. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like, it's all clicked tonight. I'm back. I'm not jumping. That's my first fight, I've won in 11 months. But, um, but anyway, what was I saying? It's clicked a little bit. A little, I was going to finish my sentence, I was going to say it's clicked a little bit. You know what, I'm just... Just up here. Just, I am. I am a little bit lost for words because, like, like I said, the fella's not great, but it's just. Um, I just listen. That's the first time in my life I listen. When you box Dillian White and Lewis Ortiz yeah. and drop down to that level, you're going to find it hell of a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Hell of a lot easier. If I'd have punched them, I'd probably have more success as well. But you didn't let your hands go. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's hard to let your hands go when you've you got Lewis Ortiz, yeah. Cuban Southpaw. Waiting to counter punch it. Yeah, it's, does it. it's easier said than done. Talk to me about Operation White Rhino. Operation White Rhino. Well, we're, we're <laughs> still in phase it. one, but um, the plan now is just to get him out as much as possible, really, and just keep learning. He's done it completely the wrong way around. He didn't learn, and then he boxed Dillian White in what his ninth, tenth fight, a tenth or eleventh fight, and then boxed Luis Ortiz, right? Number one heavyweight ranked in the world. And actually, when he turned up tonight in Hull, the rumour has it. He looked at the whole ice arena and he went, well, this doesn't look much, does it? It's not exactly the Manchester arena. <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's probably the best reception he's ever had tonight. And it wasn't just people that had come with him. It's actually people that have tuned into your shit and actually, you know, looked at it and thought, he's all right, Dave Allen. I quite like this story. Uh, so I'm going to either get him on the David Hay bill next week or we got the Germany show the week after, which is Demetrius Andrade against uh, Jack Colkai. So, one of those two shows. Well, obviously, he wants to be on the David Hogan. Of course, he does, but, we're, I, we're but there's a lot been happening, so it'll be one of the, one of, one of the other. So, we'll know within the next 24, 48 hours. But I'd like to see him on the on Hay show. I think he deserves it. He's fucking gone in. I spoke to him after Luis Ortiz fight, half his fucking tongue was hanging off. You know, he still went and had a KFC. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the plan is no KFC, get up tomorrow morning. Go and do your road work. No. What, you got a bad head? No. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> you got a bad head. No, it's absolutely fine. It's fucking good as gold. You know what I mean? But now you've got to go and live the life properly. You've got an opportunity. Don't fuck it up. Well what, done, sir. Hold on, one, one second. What's the crack with the British at the moment, then? Don't worry about the British yet. He's got... Well, yet? No, but let him have three or four fights, win and learn, and let's get a strength and conditioning guru in and work with him because he's a big fucking lump. Look at the size of his fucking legs and arse. Look at those legs. They're fucking massive. Look at that arse. <laughs> you know, but he's got to work on his movement because he's a big old lump. He's still got to lose some weight. A little bit, yeah. He looks well. Hold well on. Oh. Thank you. A bit sorry about that hand. All right. That well. <laughs> All right, well done. So you're happy? I'm happy, yeah. Um, I'm happy, you know. Um, he got like, like, What? <laughs> what? <laughs> You know what I mean? If I fight on the hay card or draw a fight on eight, I don't like flames, so I hope it's on, hope it's on the aim bill. But, um, That's a week, a, a week away, a week to go, yeah. The overall, I'm just, just really happy, mate, to be honest. He um, went as good as it could have gone. Um, the, the arena was quite supportive as well, so everything, everything that everything that could have gone could have gone well has gone well. So I'm happy with that. It wasn't really about. The opponent is such for you today. It was about obviously having the win in eleven months and just sort of getting that winning yeah. feeling again, surely. Yeah, that's a, but the thing is, this opponent, I, I know he was, he's not he's not great, him, but he was tough. We had him just thought he'd give me, he'd give me a few rounds and that. So the fact that I got him out there when I did um, is a decent result. But it means nothing, like you say, like Eddie says, I'm just going to get a few wins now, put them together, and then I agree with you. I care about the, the British title is always on my mind. It's always on my mind, you know. Um, so we'll get these get these fights out of the way. Um, 
And I'm back to my usual own self on Twitter, yeah. and Ian, yeah. and Gary, and, uh, and what's it called? Sexton. Sexton, Sexton. Well. yeah. So, it's good to listen to Eddie now, isn't it? I suppose. He'll get you there. Wherever there is, I don't know, but it'll get like you there. Like you said, whether it, like what you said, are you uh, English, British, world type, whatever it is, it's going to be, um, it's going to be fun, isn't it, Kugan? Mm. It's going to be a fun, it's going to be a fun ride, and then... Um, Operation White Rhino, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited, mate. I'm, um, What are you going to go and do now? We're going to watch the fight, we're going to watch Gavin McDonald. When James won the world title, that was my favourite night ever in boxing. It was an amazing night, and then... Um, Really old Gav does it. Gav's a, Gav's a really nice fella. Um, Luke Campbell, Coyle and Noble, I think it's a cracking fight. I'm going to go and watch the boxing. I'm going to go and... Everyone who's got a ticket off me, and all my new fans, I'm going to go and make my way around the arena, say hello to everyone. Uh, thank you for coming. Then I'm going to get a hot dog. But I better make sure Eddie doesn't see me do that. <laughs> and then... Um, Look, there's a chance of you fighting next week. I can have a hot dog, though. Can I have a hot dog, do you think? Just don't let anyone see you. I have to bring it in here, and Down I? the toilet in here. But, um, yeah, then, then, I don't know. Just, I'm just a bit, I don't know, really. You think I've won a world title, but yeah, I'm fucking, <laughs> start some fucking plumbering around. And I'm acting like I've just won fuck, all my fucking dreams have come true, but I'm just, um, I'm easily pleased. Win's a win. What Listen, a win's a win, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, listen. Dave Allen, thank you very much for your time earlier on today, and I'll see you now. And um, I'm sure I'll, I'll see you next week. Hopefully, I hope you are on that bill. I got my A bill. I'll be buzzing. I hope you are on that bill. I'll be buzzing. Because they lost the fight, didn't they? The thing is, they lost the fight with Bully Only and uh, get me Summers. On, get me on. Get me on. I'll fight Summers. It's only like Edward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I get. You know what I mean? Or in Germany? Fucking hell. Eddie's got faith. I don't think he's got faith. I think he just thinks I'm a mad cunt. That's a bit funny. But, um, I don't know, cool. I just want to thank all my fans and my family. And, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just rambling. Just end it now. I'm just going to oh, go, go stand here and rambling online. All right, Dave Allen, thank you very much for talking to us. Cheers, thank you. Come on.